už dlhšie hovorí do môjho srdca. Uh, the Lord is speaking into my heart for a, a certain period of time. Aby som rozmýšľala o pokoji. Uh, to think, uh, to consider, to contemplate about the peace. Pretože uh, mnohokrát, keď som sa našla v situácii, because so many times when I found myself in the situations, kde bola okolo mňa konfúzia, when uh, all around me was uh, confusion, Unrest, nepokoj v myšlienkach iných ľudí. Unrest in the minds and uh, thinking of uh, certain people. A keď som videla, ako sú znepokojení. And when I saw how they are uh, not in the peace, they are uh, confused. A uh, ľudia boli možno okolo mňa sklomi intrigám. And uh, uh, some people around me were uh, um, people who were either gossiping or uh, doing a lot of intrigues. Alebo sami mali nepokoj v sebe, v svojom srdci voľa, keď nie do nedomice. Or maybe they have unrest in their mind, uh, uh, a lot of uh, confusion and doubts. Ja som si všimla, že nie vždy sa mi darilo uh, pomôcť im. I have noticed that uh, there were times they, that I could not help those kind of people. A preto na miesto, aby som vedela, ako ich upokojiť. And uh, uh, to know how to uh, make peace for those kind of people. Ja som im možno ešte podporovala v tom, že som im, uh, že som im uh, pritakávala, že to je akože som ich žalila v tom všetkom. I did not uh, know how to approach those kind of people and uh, so uh, I was not helping them very much. A potom som sa zle cítila z toho, že som neuviedla tú situáciu do pokoja. And uh, because of that I didn't feel very good in my spirit, in my heart, in my emotions because I was not able to help those people to resolve the situations. And uh, uh, those uh, um, happenings, uh, those situations were also among our sisters, our ladies in our church. And uh, for a number of years in our family as well. Ale začala som už pár rokov nazad počúvať tichý hlas Ducha Svetého. But uh, uh, then I uh, calmed myself uh, in a prayer and I was, uh, I started to listen that small uh, voice within. Že buď tvorcom pokoja. Uh, make peace, be a, a, a woman who will work for peace. Teda dnes si pohovoríme na tému Buďme tvorcovia pokoja. So today I would like to address very briefly uh, how to work for a peace. Zvolila som si text na uh, Matúš 5.9. And uh, my uh, theme uh, is from a text of Matthew 5.9. Blahoslavení, ktorí tvorcovia pokoj. Blessed are those who work for peace. Lebo tí sa budú volať synmi Božími. For they will be called the children of God. Amen. My vidíme, že dnešná doba je poznačená mnohými nepokojmi. Uh, we are, uh, um, we, we see around us that uh, this, uh, um, this time uh, there are a lot of um, uh, unrest, a lot of confusion in the world. Máme mnoho vojen, mnoho teroristických útokov. We are witnesses, there are many wars and a, a lot of uh, teroristic uh, attacks. Potom ľudia sú nespokojní ekonomickou situáciou, tak teda štrajkujú alebo protestujú. People are uh, in unrest because of political or economical situation in their countries. A nepokoje máme and also sometimes there uh, is unrest in uh, certain churches as well and uh, we can say even in our families as well 
Ale my sa nemusíme čudovať tomu. But uh, we uh, cannot be in awe or uh, it could not be very strange for us. Lebo keď sa učeníci opýtali pána, že čo bude znamenie jeho príchodu a konca? Because when uh, disciples were uh, asking the Lord what will be the signs of the end time, povedal im, že budeme počuť vojnový zvuk, krik, kýry o bojoch. He said to them that we are going to hear rumors of war and a lot of unrest in the world. A potom ešte aj, že aj domáci postanú jedný pod tým. And also that families, within families, there will be some struggles and war as well in the world. A do tejto doby my sme povolaní pôsobiť spokoj. And we are called actually in this type of situations to make peace or to work for peace. Pôsobiť spokojom môže osoba, ktorá je vyplnená pokojom. Work for peace can do a person who has peace in her mind and soul. V 1. Petrovej 3.11 si čítame, že ak chceme byť požehnaní a vidieť dobré dny, dobrú budúcnosť, nechľadáme pokoj a dosahujeme. Let us try to find peace and let us have or work for peace. Teda pokojom vyplnená osoba musí byť vyplnená Duchom Svetom, Svetým. A peaceful person is a person who are filled with the Holy Ghost. Pretože pokoj je jedno z ovocí Ducha Svetého. Because peace is one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. No a to ovoci a ten pokoj nemusí byť automatický. That fruit, that peace, is not automatically as a gift given to us. Duch Svetý je dar. Holy Spirit is a gift given to us. We know that. Ovoc je je dar, ale musíme pracovať na ňom. Fruit is a gift, but at the same time we must work on on that gift. We read. We must reach for it. We must work for it as well. Because peace is a fruit. 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 Aby vyrastol strom a priniesol ovoce. And that seed started to sprout, grow and then finally bring fruits. Teda to je proces. That's a process. Preto nám slovo hovorí, že musíme hľadať a usilovať o pokoj. That's why I believe the word of God is saying we must reach, we must work for peace. Semiačko je slovo Božie. That seed is the word of God. A my musíme čítať mnoho slovo Božie. And we need to read word of God a lot. Aby sme prišli po ten pokoj. To find that peace through the word of God in us. A v slove Božom naozaj veľa je napísané o pokoji. And in the word of God there are many Bible verses who are talking about the peace. Keď sa už dopracujeme k tomu pokoju, And when we work, uh, uh, for that peace, prídu aj v našich život, aj v, aj, v tej, aj v tom prípade príde situácia, že sa nepokoj vtiera do nášho srdca. Even in those kind of situation when we are working for peace, uh, uh, unrest, because unrest or uh, uh, lack of peace is around us uh, that is trying to attack us as well. Potrebujeme sa uspokojiť. So we need to uh, uh, calm ourselves down. Aj, aj my same. Uh, we as a ladies. A preto je najlepšia stará tichá komorka. And uh, uh, good advice from the word of God is to uh, get alone with the Lord in your separate room and seek his face. Aj. Pojdeme do nej. So uh, let us uh, enter or keep entering into 
that room of private room of our fellowship with God. Please let us find a, a time to be alone with the Lord instead of all our duties and, and what we need to do during the day. And let us ask God of peace to restore that peace again in us and again. Because He is God of peace. And he said, uh, uh, I'm giving you my peace, not as the, this world is offering his kind of peace, but I'm giving you mine, God's peace. And uh, uh, as soon as we put that peace uh, in, on ourselves, and that peace is working in ourselves, then let us go out and let us work for peace. Let us touch with that peaceful attitudes other people. Maybe uh, we will not join some political parties and, uh, uh, and work for peace as they do. But we can uh, uh, so, uh, we can uh, be a peacemakers in our surroundings. We can be uh, peacemakers in our neighborhood, in our families, in our uh, local church as well. Uh, I'm going to give one example and uh, I think my husband will not like this. <laughs> Uh, uh, my husband is a, a, a representative, actually a, an advisor in our local parliament. And, and sometimes uh, in, in our local parliament we are uh, discussing about uh, uh, everyday life, not uh, politics but everyday life and sometimes discussion is uh, you know tense uh, very fierce fearful and uh, uh, um, during those type of uh, discussions he usually uh, uh, will take a word and uh, uh, with his uh, peaceful attitude and he just calm down the situation. So sometimes it is helpful for the people to resolve the situation because of the peaceful uh, 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 character of my, uh, my husband. Uh, so he is a kind of peacemaker. He is transferring that peace to those uh, unrestful people around him. Yeah, in our uh, county. Uh, he did not tell me this, but the people who are uh, working with him in local parliament, they told me about that, this. Čítame si, že aké krásne sú nohy tých, ktorí šíria alebo zvestujú pokoj. Uh, we are reading in the Bible uh, how pleasant are the foot uh, of those who are, uh, uh, who are um, making peace around themselves. Aj v zbore je často potrebné, aby sme pokojom pôsobili. In our local church uh, sometimes we need to be a peacemakers. A nie naša sestra znepokojená. If for example our sister is uh, in, in unrest or she has no peace in her, in her mind, in her soul. Možno má problém s niektorými ľuďmi v zbore. Maybe she has some problems with the people in the local church or even in the family. 
alebo svojej rodiny. Takže pozrime pokojom tak na ňu. So uh, let us be a peacemaker, let us influence her with, uh, with a peace. Nie, že by sme jej, uh, znovu poviem, nie, že by sme jej ako odobrávali to a z, z tej solidarity s ňou, aby sme jej povedali, no áno, ty si naozaj nešťastná, to je tak zle. Not uh, uh, that we uh, need to encourage her in her negative feelings. Yes, you are victim, you have right to feel bitter, angry, in unrest, not in that way to encourage her or influence her. Ale poučme ju, že musí sa do, že musí ísť k pokoju s tou osobou. But encourage her uh, through the word of God that she need to make peace with uh, such person uh, uh, with whom uh, they, they have uh, unrest or they are not in peace in agreement. So let us uh, encourage her in the word of God. A to všetko môžeme v duchu pokoja a lásky, keď máme pokoj v sebe. And we can do that only if we uh, uh, by ourselves has that peace in our mind and in our soul. Lebo zbor má byť pokoj. Because I believe, I trust that in local church we need to have that peaceful atmosphere. Ja verím na nejaký spôsob, že ženy sú tie, ktoré môžu vytvoriť aj nepokoj, ale môžu vytvoriť aj pokoj. I believe and I know that uh, women, ladies are uh, uh, the ones who can uh, create that peaceful atmosphere, Pretože... either in the local church or at home. Pretože Boh ich stvoril takými citlivejšími. Because God has made us so sensitive. Niekedy v našom zbore tak, keď je služba, príde taký pokoj na, na náš zbor. Sometimes during our church services uh, uh, we, uh, we can feel uh, how that spirit of rest, that spirit of peace is coming upon us. My husband is preaching the word of God. Všetci majú otvorené umy. And uh, all minds are open during that time. And sometimes when the, in those type of situations, in the, that uh, atmosphere, even uh, small children are in, uh, in peace. They are not running around, but they are uh, uh, listening very attentively. And they are uh, uh, feeling that peace. Ja verím, že to je o tom pokoji, ktorý je uh, pokoj Boží, ktorý prevyšuje každý ľudský um. I believe that it is that kind of peace uh, which surpasses all our, our understanding. A potom sme tak sedeli a nechcelo sa nám ísť domov a tak sme v tichosti len sedeli, ešte užívali v tej atmosfére. And uh, uh, in the those type uh, of atmosphere people usually stay in the church, they have fellowship and they uh, uh, observe that, uh, that good atmosphere. They are kind of uh, like a sponge, they are receiving that kind of atmosphere and peace into themselves. Lebo to je liečivá atmosféra do uh, uh, the atmosphere of the Holy Spirit is a, a cure for us, is a medicine for us. Pre mňa osobne je najdôležitejšie tvoriť pokoj v mojom naj, najbližšom okolí. Uh, for me, uh, it is a must, it is very important to create uh, such atmosphere of peace in my family, in my uh, in immediate surrounding. Máme susedovcov. We have uh, some neighbors. Ktorí my sme, my žijeme na dedine. Oh, we are living in a small town. A keďže pracujem niečo na dvore. And when I'm working outside in my yard, on, in my backyard. Moja suseda ide okolo a hlási sa mi my neighbor uh, will be passing by and uh, she will say hello to me. So once uh, she was passing and she was very, uh, very sad, and you can tell by looking at her face. 
And uh, when she stopped by, I was asking her, uh, how are you doing, my neighbor? And uh, she told me that she is uh, in a, a deep depression. And I didn't know how to approach her because uh, she didn't like uh, for me to speak with her about the God and the Gospel. And I uh, took advantage of that situation when she was open. Uh, I told her that uh, I believe in the power of prayer, I believe in the power of God, that I'm going to pray for her, and that I'm encouraging her also to read the Bible and uh, start to pray to God, then she will be in peace. Uh, uh, within a day or two, she was passing by, and she was also uh, she was saying again to me, "Hello," but this time she was very happy. I'm I'm certain that my approach to her. Uh, really uh, was uh, of benefit to her. We have one sister, one lady in our local church. Uh, all her life uh, she, uh, she was uh, in some kind of sickness and it uh, affected her nerves and her nervousness. A mala také výpady v obeste, že už ju poznali, že taká bola trochu nešikovná. Bola... And uh, uh, in our small town she was known before uh, as a lady who will do um, certain things which were not uh, all right. Uh, ona potom začala chodiť do zbory. Uh, she started to come to our church. Mala ešte problémy. Uh, at first, she had some problems uh, in her life. Uh, but one, uh, uh, during one service, she came forward and uh, brethren were praying for her. She was released uh, from the uh, influence of uh, evil spirit. And now she is uh, kept coming to our church. And uh, uh, always she is surrounded by love, by uh, uh, um, by peace. And now she is very faithful, very loyal to a local church and to God, and uh, she is following Him with uh, her heart. Máme svedectvá, že tie slova, tá atmosféra pokoja vplýva na ľudí. So we have uh, many testimonies, I'm sure you have also, that, that atmosphere of peace, uh, atmosphere of the Holy Spirit is influencing uh, people. Pokoj nám je daný, aby sme mohli vplývať ním na iných. Peace have been given to us to influence other people. A aby sme zachránili ich dušu na ten spôsob. And uh, by doing that, to save their souls uh, by uh, creating uh, the peaceful atmosphere. We as uh, uh, wives can uh, be peacemakers uh, concerning our husbands. Some, uh, so many times our husbands are uh, under heavy pressures of everyday life. Uh, sometimes they, uh, they uh, don't have a peace in mind uh, because of the political and economical situation in, the, in our countries. Sometimes a heavy load of uh, uh, duties in the local church and uh, um, uh, 
things between people. A ako możemy ich, ako się może, gdzie może znaleźć spokój, a nie doma? And when our husband can find peace, if not at his own house with with us as his wife. Marzoka ma doma doczekać spokój. A wife need to welcome him home with a peace, with a peaceful, good atmosphere. A upokojować mu w tych wiedziach. And calm him down when he is in her, when his thoughts are in unrest. Nie ma mu ochrabrować w tych jego negatywnych pozytach. She don't, she can, she will not, she do not encourage him in in his evil or bad thoughts, but calm him down rather. Ale upokojować ma. Calm him down, down rather. Więc człowiek ma tendencję upieć, kiedy sytuacja na zniepokojenie reagować zniepokojenie. We as a human beings. When there is unrest around us, or not peaceful atmosphere around us, it is tendency to react the same way as it is around us. And if the person is very close to us, and that person is suffering because of the unrest, we associate it with him. My zasypujemy to z nim, z połu z nim rozdzamy na tych ludzi, którzy mu bliżej powiedzmy. Sometimes instead of helping him and calming calming him down, we sometimes are encouraging him in his bad feelings towards certain people or certain situations. Ale my mu wiecznie pomożemy, kiedy mu powiemy, że będzie dobrze. But we will more be helpful to him, to our husband, if we encourage him with the words, everything will be okay, God will resolve this situation, just pray, just believe, everything will be okay. Uh, uh, peaceful uh, men uh, need to uh, influence with peace uh, uh, to other people. So let us create our work for peace. I must come. Nie nie lako. Today's mothers they don't have a very easy. Lebo dzieci kiedy są małe tak nie lako między nimi utworzyć pokój albo im ich upokoić. Because when our children are small, it is very easily to make peace between them or among them. But when they, they are grown up, they need more time and more energy and more wisdom to deal with them. I, I think that uh, um, uh, very difficult times uh, is a time to be a teenager my mamy dwie dzieci. We have two children. Pan nas pożegnał trzema dziećmi. God has blessed us with three children. Ale to moja najmłodsza ma na zaledwie wieczności pięć. But the the third one, son who was six, the Lord took him to him. Cera Rud mała wtedy czternaś roku. When our son was tragically killed, our daughter was fourteen. And our son Ivan was eleven. They were in teenagers' age. My, as parents, we took a big burden. We, as parents, it was a blow to to us. It was hard to us. For us. Tak, nam je to ciężko o tym mówić. So sometimes it is even hard to talk about that situation. A potem my sami jesteśmy z tym woją każdy na swój sposób. And we manage somehow in our lives to go 
through life with that pain in our lives. O sebe ne budem govorit. I will not speak about myself. Ale moja pozornost bola od tebi upriamena na moje djeci. But my uh, uh, my focus was on my children from uh, since then. Moja cera Ruth bola dobre djevča. My uh, uh, daughter Ruth, uh, she was and still is a very good daughter. A ona se do stratu brata nosila tak, že se odavala viacej panovi. And uh, uh, she managed in her life uh, with the loss of her brother uh, that way that she dedicated herself more to the Lord, more to the prayers and more to the dedication. <laughs> And the same year she was baptized uh, in the water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and she received the Holy Ghost. The same year our third son uh, was tragically killed. And uh, I was uh, uh, pretty much demanding on her pretože aj v našej kultúre je tak, že dievčatá musia vedieť po priškolení aj domáce práce všetky. Because in our culture uh, uh, it is uh, demand uh, from the uh, daughter uh, besides the schooling or university education also to know to do everyday uh, duties and work like uh, cleaning, cooking, etc. Ale ona bola veľmi dobrá dievča a bola uh, aktívna aj v sporových uh, prácach. But she was very good daughter and she was very active in, uh, in our local church as well. Ona je veľmi umelec i nadarená. And she has uh, those artistic uh, uh, gifts in her. Syn Ivan bol mladší. Uh, but son, son Ivan was younger. A na nejaký spôsob, pretože som skratila toho chlapca. And uh, because I have lost the youngest, ja som toho syna brala a ako keby som tu dobrú lásku jemu venovala. Uh, I uh, focused my, I would say, double love toward my uh, uh, remaining son. On bol uh, slabý chlapec. He was very good boy. Uh, sa tiež, on je dlho bol krstený duchom svetým a žiadal si krst vodom. Uh, uh, very soon he also was baptized and uh, uh, in the spirit and asked to be baptized in the water. Ale život išiel ďalej. But uh, life uh, continued. Ja som musela chodiť do práce. I, uh, uh, I was going to my work, I worked every day. Pomáhať mužovi v zborovej práci. I have uh, I was helping my husband in, uh, concerning our local church. A domácnosť a tak ďalej. And also I was taking care about my uh, everyday uh, life, our, our, about our household. A keď som si aj všimla, že môj syn... And I, I have recall, uh, I have noticed that, that my son was uh, suddenly going toward the world. I mean, he started to hang uh, with his friends uh, who were not believers. At first I thought uh, she need, uh, he need a brother, so that's why he is hanging with those guys. But uh, I didn't notice uh, that uh, he is hanging with those unbelievers uh, more than he is hanging around the Uh, uh, church. Then uh, some uh, years of fighting were uh, present. I was uh, fighting with those type of situation the way I uh, knew 
and that was I was rebuking him. I was always uh, telling him not to do, uh, not to go somewhere, etc. A między nami stworzyła się nieprzyjaciółstwo. And uh, uh, he was kind of uh, leaning more toward the world, and that was no much communication between us. Uh, he was uh, older. And, uh, and I used to uh, come to his room and uh, lay down at his uh, bed and I was crying toward the Lord, I was uh, praying for him, I was claiming him for, uh, for the Lord. And the Lord spoke to my heart uh, to be in, in peace. And not to react very uh, uh, appropriately uh, toward my son, uh, although he is uh, leaning toward the, the world. But uh, to cast my burden upon him, uh, that he will take care about everything. <laughs> Som našla slobodný čas, tak som uvarila kávu a sme si sadli a rozprávali sme sa. And uh, uh, when uh, the time allows, when he was home, I uh, prepare a cup of coffee, I sat down with him and uh, talk with him very friendly uh, about things he was interested. On mi rozprával, ako pracujem nejakej uh, he was uh, telling me, uh, he was opening himself to me and was telling me uh, what he is doing, uh, uh, what are his plans, etc. That he is uh, uh, working with some young people who are against, uh, uh, who are working uh, to help uh, those who are on drugs or uh, deeply in the alcohol. Bolo to dobrá práca, ale nebolo to uh, that was a good <coughs> job, I mean, a uh, good interest, but it was not about God. And my attitude was uh, that I understand him that uh, I'm encouraging to do that because even God is uh, here to help people who are deep in troubles or deep uh, on drugs. A naše hádky prestali. So our uh, stripe, uh, strives uh, uh, stopped. Začala som pôsobiť na ňoho pokojom. I uh, started to uh, uh, influence him with peace and with peaceful thoughts. And I uh, uh, trust, uh, trusted the Lord that God will resolve that situation with him. My son returned back to God when he was 26. Uh, it took us some time. Ale pretože som sa dala viesť Bohu, Božiemu duchu. But because I was uh, uh, I uh, I was willing to be led by the Holy Spirit. Pokoj zvíťazil. Uh, peace uh, 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 prevailed or uh, uh, peace uh, uh, come to a victory. Ako aj Pavel hovorí, že pokoj Boží nech výťazí vo vašich srdciach. As uh, Paul is saying, let the peace of God rule in our, uh, uh, in your hearts. Teda môžeme pôsobiť pokojom. So uh, my message is, yes, we can influence by the peace. Aby sme vytrhli duše s diablom. In order to help uh, certain uh, souls, uh, uh, from the devil and uh, to introduce them to the Lord. 
So uh, may the Lord richly bless you and thank you very much for uh, listening. Thank you. Ciao, Gwen. Have a single clue. God bless you. Thank you so much. Let's stand together. The old hymn, if you'll help me. Uh, Mom's here, so I need your help. Uh, peace, peace, wonderful peace coming down.